Thank you for tuning in to the Praise Dome channel. Here's the preview of our service this past Sunday. If you would like to join us in person, we are located at 10505 Bainbridge Street, Houston, Texas 77016. Or you can join us each and every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. via live stream at www.greaternewhopechurch.org. Please take the time to subscribe to our channel, and we hope you enjoy. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me will forever be fruitful and deep. Yeah, yeah. I am the way, the truth, and the light. No one gets to the Father. somebody else say I've got work to do it's sad to say that many gifts sit dormant because we spend more time doing a job than we do doing work I knew I wasn't going to get a whole lot of amens because when you thought about it, you can see the similarities of a job and work. But can I uh, put this perspective in your ear today and tell you there is a distinct difference between doing a job and going to work? Let me explain it to you like this. A job is a position or duty that you are obligated to do. But a work is a task or an undertaking directed to produce and accomplish something that you know you're gifted at doing. Yeah. Maybe I'm talking to the wrong group of people. And that's one of the reasons why you're frustrated in your life right now because you've been doing jobs instead of going to work. And people of God, I, I, I discovered that there are 859 Bible patch passages that relates to doing work and zero passages that relate to going to a job. And I don't believe that it's ever been the intent of God for us to live sufficiently. I believe from the beginning of time, God's original intent for us was for us to live substantially and abundantly. I know you need scripture. Come here, scripture. And John chapter 10, verse number 10, it says that the thief cometh not but to steal, kill, and destroy. But here's what Jesus said. I am come that you might have life and have it more abundant. Which, which tells me this. The reason why some of us are still living from paycheck to paycheck is because because we haven't tapped into the resource of working. Y'all looking at me real strange. Because some of you in here right now. That when you go to work tomorrow. You're going to sit there. Get on the clock. And don't do nothing. You, you ain't going to think about no dream you had. You ain't going to think about the goals you have to make. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. And stop. God told me to tell about 20 of y'all in the room. That I'm getting ready to shift your whole season. If you understand what I'm getting ready to do in your life. Based on uh, the opportunity of understanding. That I'm not giving you a job for you to walk in sufficiency. I'm giving you walk so you can walk in simplicity tell somebody that's getting ready to be a surplus in your life that everything God created worked I lost everybody that, that was nothing that God created that didn't work which leads me to believe that since he created me everything I'm destined and designed to do will I wish I had some believers in here. I think I just got a green light from God who told me to prophesy to every believer in this room today that, to, that whatever you've been created to do is getting ready to work out for you. Whatever you've envisioned will work. Whatever you dreamed about will work. Your goals will work. Your ideas will work. Your business plan will work. Your marriage will work. Your ministry will work. Your health will work. You ought to prophesy it's going to work. 
Y'all got the wrong people on your road. You ought to high five, five, three people and tell them it will work. It will. It will work. Whatever you put your mind to, it will work. Whatever your heart is in, it will work. Whatever your limbs and your lungs would act right and do, God told me to tell you, when you open your mouth today, everything will 